All right, let's try one more. What is the net force on an object that's experiencing a pull of five newtons to the north, a push of three newtons to the south, and a pull of two newtons to the east? Well, the way I would do this is I would make a vector diagram to help me out. We have an object feeling a full of pull of five newtons to the north, a push of three newtons to the south, one, two, three to the south, and a pull of two newtons to the east. What is the net force? Well, all I have to do is add up the vector sum of all those. I've already lined them up tip to tail, so if I want the vector sum, I draw a line from the starting point of the first to the ending point of the last. If I broke this up into components, I would have two newtons to the east, and if I had five up and three back, I must have two newtons north. If I want the magnitude of that net force, that's just going to be the square root of two squared plus two squared, or 2.83 newtons. And the angle, of course, I don't even have to go to trig. If it's two to the right and two up, angle is going to be 45 degrees. Hopefully that gets you started with Newton's first law. It's a very simple concept, but a very important one in physics. Thanks for watching educator.com. Make it a great day.